Now let's discuss some common mistakes done with logarithms. And the first mistake is just a hideous one. Just absolutely grotesque. Log m plus log n is not equal to log m plus log n. So if you had something like log 5 plus 2, the only thing you can really do here is just say that's log 7 and then perhaps evaluate this if you need to. But that's by no means equal to log 5 plus log 2. And this works both ways, of course, as well. So, you know, if you have log n plus log n, you can't just go back and say, oh, that's log n plus n. That doesn't work. Okay. Second common mistake log m times n equals log m t times log n. Totally wrong. In fact, this can be actually simplified into or changed into log m plus log n. Okay? So if I were to have log 5 times 2, of course, that's the same thing as log 10, or I can rewrite it as log 5 plus log 2. And there's nothing else I can do there. I could evaluate them, of course. Anyways, common mistake number three. Log m divided by log n is equal to log m. By, by the way, there's a not equal, of course. Um, this is actually a, the misinterpretation of a rule which is basically if I had log m divided by n, then I would get that actually, log m minus log n. Okay? But if I have this, let's say I have log 10 over log 5, the only thing I can really do is this, log base 5 of 10, but that wouldn't be log 10 minus log 5. Okay, so no, but what if I have log 10 divided by 5? Then that, in fact, is log 10 minus log 5. That works out. Great. So, of course, these guys are also not equal. Now, another common mistake is to say that this is equal to that. That's what we have here in this fifth common mistake. So log m divided by log n is not equal to log m divided by n, right? That just does not work. And finally, the last common mistake here is actually also a misinterpretation of a rule. And it would be this rule over here. If I have log a to the power of b, that's equal to b times the log of a. So if I have log 25, that's the same thing as log 5 squared. So I can bring down the exponent, so that's just 2 times the log of 5. That works out perfectly. But if I had instead log 5 squared like this, that's the same as log 5 times log 5, which is not equal to 2 log 5. Right, so if the, the whole thing is wrapped up here and you have the, the square outside, this is not going to be the same as if you had this, the log 5 squared itself. Okay, so you don't see this very often, but you might come across that in intermediate or advanced problems. And now you know that that's not equal to n log m. So that's it. Hopefully you found the video helpful and uh, good luck with uh, logarithms.